Okay, so welcome back, and today we're going to discuss the product property for logs. So how does this work? Well, what it's saying is if we have two logs with the same base, and we're adding them, then we can write this as one single log with the same base as the product of the two separate arguments. Okay, that's what it's saying. So now, how do we prove this? Well, start by letting m equal log base b of m and n, lowercase n, equal to log base b of capital N. Now, what we're going to do is start with um, this, okay? So given um, log base b of n times n, okay, okay, it follows. Oops. What? It follows that log base B of MN is equal to log base B of Well, m is equal to e to the m, right? I'm just writing this in exponential form, times e to the n, right? Oh, not e. I don't know why I mean e, not e. Sorry. I'm used to e, b, that's what I want, b. Now, now what do I do with that? Well, that is equal to log base b of b to the m plus n, using just property of exponents. And then of course using the inverse property, the log base b cancels with this b and I get m plus n, but then again m is equal to this, and n is equal to this, so I get my final result, log base b of n plus log base b of n. And that's the proof. Okay, we'll do an example next time.